Hi, in this video we will cover some of the options in our select menu here uh, in the main window. Now uh, we already covered our select tools and some of these options can be very useful. Once you know your select tools you should know these two. Let's just make a simple selection first. Apply it. Now we can choose to select all. Shortcut Control A. This will mean we'll select the whole image. Let's undo that. We can select none. This means deselecting. Or use the control shortcut uh, Control Shift A. Let's undo that again. You can invert, which means that right now we have selected this area, but we want to select the other area. Sometimes you want to select an object in an image and um, apply modification in the rest of the image so if you press Control i you invert that selection and if i press delete now i will delete this part of the image let's undo that now you can float the selection this is a floated air a layer excuse me you can uh, anchor this layer to a new layer if you like. Let's undo that again. Now you here you can uh, select regions with similar colors. This is uh, a quick way to access your select by color tool. You can uh, make a selection from path. Uh, we will cover path 2 in, uh, in our next video. This means that if you have created a path, you can use this option to turn th that path into a selection. Now the next thing, you can bring out your select editor here. This is something you rarely use, but just know it's here. You can feather that selection. Now feathering a selection is a very important feature. Sometimes when you want to isolate an object, you want to feather that selection. Basically what that means is that if you have selected three pixels and uh, the selection is feathered, this gives a smooth transition. It means that whatever uh, effect you are applying does not apply with the same force uh, to all the pixels on the border of the selection. Here if I change the color, let me just show you really quickly what that means. Here now you see that you have this uh, straight transition. Now let's undo that. If I feather the selection though, let's say by 34 pixels, and now if I fill this with a color, you see how you get that smooth transition. This can be very useful sometimes. Feathering a selection is one of the main tools you're going to use in your selections. You can also sharpen that selection, uh, which means to remove that fuzziness, which we created by feathering. You can shrink, grow a selection. Here, let's grow this by 12 pixels, for example. Just grow a selection. This uh, comes into handy when you create some kind of a graphic. For example, if I stroke that selection now with white color, I might want to grow it or shrink it. Let's shrink it, for example, like that. And now I can stroke it again. You can use that for that or other purposes. Uh, also, you can distort the selection to make it with jagged edges. You can make it a rounded rectangle. Let's bring out the menu here by percentage. You can also make it concave, which means that uh, it will become something like that. Let's undo that. Um, this is uh, enabling the quick mask mode, which is also uh, you can do that from here. Let's turn it off. Uh, you can save this selection to a channel. 
so you can access later that selection. Your channels are here, we'll talk about them in later videos, or you can transform this selection into a path. Select for a moment, we have our path tool, and this is our path now, and we can adjust that path. We'll talk about paths in our next video. They are also very powerful and important um, tool in selecting and in creating graphics. So this is basically everything in our select menu here. Remember these options, they can save a lot of time. That's it for now. If you like this video, subscribe, like, leave a comment. I appreciate any feedback. Bye for now.